Okay, this is going to be a rather quick tutorial on how to clean up your audio, I guess. Um, the first thing you're going to need to get is Audacity. I'm not going to show you how to get that. Uh, just Google Audacity and I'm sure you can find it. Um, there's no plugins necessary for this, just standalone Audacity, it's all you need. Um, I've already got some sample dialogue here to go and work with. Uh, like I said, this is pretty fast, but uh, yeah. So let's say you have your audio here. Um, I'm going to go and play it back here. This is the sample dialogue. Now, I don't know if you can hear it that well, but there's still a bit of, of uh, static that's kind of just there. It's just kind of, you can hear it. It's really, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's big enough to the point where it would bother me if you were doing professional recording or something like that. Um, if you're like me, sometimes you don't have access to a studio all the time and you have to record with uh, what you have or, or a compression mic or whatever is available to you. And a lot of people out there don't I don't have good quality mics, so this is a good way to just clean it and do it. As you can see here, these little dots here, you can definitely see it now that it's there. Just a slight air noise of my laptop running. So I'll show you how to remove that, not necessarily completely, but enough to the point where you're not really going to hear it and you're not going to pay attention to it. You're going to go to Effect, Noise Removal. Um, I have it changed a little bit, I think, from what was default. Um, I have it at 30. I change this around a lot depending on how you know loud the noise is and how much you want to filter out. But I have a noise reduction 30, sensitivity 0, frequency smoothing 150. Um, yeah, so just copy the stats there. But first, before you do that, select the audio that you want to get removed. So you don't have to select as much as I did or more or less. I find that if you select more, it actually doesn't sound quite right and it removes too much from your recording so only select like maybe two to three seconds no more than that five is too much just three seconds it's okay it does a fine job um, my whole audio is like not more than five seconds long so you know don't do too much anyways hit get noise profile um, it's already been done now it's collected all the data it needs to remove now select the entire uh, audio segment here and go to noise removal and make sure everything's the way you want it and hit OK. You can always preview it too if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then if you hear it now, it should be... Ah, let's just hear it. This is the sample dialog. As you can see, that's ex way more cleaner compared to this. I think that makes a dramatic difference. And once you clean it up here and you add some filters and put a few effects over it to make it fine-tuned the way you want it. Um, you know, it's kind of cheating, but it's it's a way to get away with a lower quality mic and get the same effect as a professional, so. This is the sample dialogue. All right, that was a rather uh, quick tutorial. Go ahead and head over to uh, voiceacting.co.uk for any more tutorials. Um, they have a form site there. It's pretty good for uh, looking for work or auditioning or anything like that. Um, I definitely recommend signing up there if you haven't already. Uh, pretty helpful site. Good if you're looking for work and uh, just a group of helpful people.